of 2K19 series. Hassett, Massachusetts, then. I'm not with the preliminaries. Here, Here we go. go. Buckle up, because, because we have a contest, contest that's going to blow, to blow the roof, roof off this place. place. We have eight English, English versus, versus Team AJ, AJ Styles. And now a commentary from myself and Corey Graves. I'm a big fan of the SmackDown music. I love the SmackDown music. It's a shame we changed it for 2020. Let's see if we can hit this phenomenal forearm. He might have it. No, he not the phenomenal forearm. Can he end it here? This crowd is sensing the end is near. To the next match, then. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have a real fan favorite. So, Andrade Cien Almas of Zelina Vega versus the perfect Ken Ty Dillinger. You got to believe 
this one's over. Gets, Gets him in position. position. This, this is, is not, not going to end well for him, Michael. Michael. Oh, God, where would you end this from? Oh. Damn, that's pure athleticism there. takes advantage of their weight position to high ring IQ. Dillinger's starting to flounder some. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Let's see if we can reach this far. Oh, I just missed. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Ooh, what impact. That's the speed. Now that's a takedown. Oh, come on, just get in the corner properly. They were really there then. They will we'll probably see something like backlash or smackdown. So we've already done two matches. Buckle up because we have a contest oh, yeah. that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster today against Team Carl Anderson. Nothing better than some elite tag team action. I'll go Bludgeon Brothers for this one, only because we're the good brothers. I mean, currently on this, in this time, the Bludgeon Brothers are the current SmackDown tag team champions. So I want to prove their superiority at this point. Both legal men in the ring and set the start. And also because they're giants. We're ready to go. Guys, there's nothing like a good old fashioned tag team match. Dangerous spot for him to be in. You gotta figure out a way to get back in it, guys. Getting manhandled by Harper. Oh, fuck 
Pussy and tagging Luke Gallows. Pussy. What a stop! Oh, you're such a pussy. How is that too fucking late? Tag teams actually. Like, I actually don't really. I'm not even really a fan of tag teams. Good brothers, more like bad brothers. That match deserves another look. Here we go. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys will take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's out. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. It will be Jeff Hardy against our truth Let's do it. Jeff Hardy against Ron Killings, otherwise known as our truth 32-time 24-7 champion. Oh, what is that move that he does just now? I just be ready for anything. Oh, it's like a, a bit like Seamus is broken. It's like not like a finisher. It's just in non-finisher mode. What was that? Why is he missing him? Resilient. If it, I swear, if he has resiliency, I just want to check this quick. Oh, it does as well. Here it comes. He's got him. 
Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, that's just so annoying. What, why is it so annoying? It's genuinely actually so annoying whenever they reverse finishes. All that hard work and they've been crushing to earn anything. Literally, he, he's barely even landed like ten hits on me, and he gets a signature. Oh come on! This is actually pissing me off now. How is that too late? How is this too late? Little dancing. How's that dancing? Oh my! Really? Since when can you reverse that? Piss off! How? Actually, piss off! That's genuinely ridiculous. Why is it a finisher? You're not giving me a signature or something. That's not that unfair. Oh my god, he's gonna be silly. If he uses his resilience, he's actually gonna get a bit annoyed. Because he's ridiculous now. Oh my god, he's such a pussy because he uses resiliency. This is gonna help him at all. I can just do this again. He's got him covered. Literally, it, it literally goes through a few seconds and that's it. That's all resilience he does. It's literally not even handy at all, I don't even know why I'm moving the game. These guys showed flashes in this match. The flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. That is one of the most ridiculous matches I've ever been through. Just plain ridiculous. So he tries, so he tries hitting me with a signature, I reverse that signature, put the signature on him and he reverses that again. And then he tries using a, fin a signature on me, I reverse it to a finisher. That's like I don't I don't know if, I don't know whether to call it crazy or stupid, but it's one of the two, or both. Great triple threat match. Why did he run out the ring instantly? Really? He's the US champion who runs out the ring. I stay out there then, fine. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three can walk out of here to win. Harsh impact. Qualifications not no 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 DQ off oh so I can just literally use a weapon okay Oh, 
really? Yeah, let's hope he can keep this kind of effort going. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. I'm screaming you inside. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, you are, oh my god, you're actually annoying! Oh, piss off! Oh, you're actually annoying! Can you actually piss off? You're so annoying! Why did you ruin that? Fucking idiot! Fuck, nah, he, he can piss right off now. I'm not having that, nah, piss off. Yeah, you Pussy. You have to break it over, don't you? Pussy. Sheldon gets back in. He's got the shoulders down. There we go. Get in. Try to out. My goodness. I hate triple threats. For some reason, like, no matches when it's like more than like. It's when it's a singles oh, match, not a tag team match. <coughs> But this part here was annoying. Like, why? He's genuinely why. But that's actually annoying, that part. I can't stand Sheldon Benjamin. He's actually so annoying. Oh, really? I don't want to do this match. It's boring. Alright, this one I can do. Don't move. Great, Great match coming up next. next. It's, it's the Miz, Miz versus, versus John, John Cena. Cena. You don't, don't want to miss it. This is the final match of SmackDown then. Let's get this done quickly.
Oh, it's time for it. John Cena here. This is all but over. Is he trying to distract me? Here he goes. And John Cena is your winner. It's the front shots. You can't see me. These guys keep bigger than the nice Here's another one. Why are they doing this for me? That's the kind of win that makes you. Isn't he supposed to be like the best in the world or something? So this marks the end of episode 2 of the WWE 2K19. Episode 3 will be coming tomorrow, NXT. Let's have a look at what we're going to be working with. Show opening promo, Kyrie Sane. Uh, Street Profits versus TM61. Pete Dunn v Roderick Strong with Bobby Fish. Rest of the Undisputed Era versus Only the Walking in Alistair Black. And last 11 by Johnny Gargano. Well, that's an interesting match, but until then... This has been the right this has been episode two of two K nineteen. I'll see you all tomorrow for episode three.